Hello everyone, welcome back to Coasters of the Thrills here as we are checking on into the Universal Orlando Resort here for our very first summer visit here. So this will be a very interesting day going on by because for one, the Minion Land has opened up just recently for soft opening, which is very interesting to say the least. And two, there's been a lot of updates going around here in the parks, especially in Isles of Adventures and Universal Studios as a whole. So we're gonna have a lot of updates covered in today's video, so this will be very interesting to say the least. So without further ado, enjoy today's future presentation here at Universal Orlando Resort. All right, as you see, we are starting off for day over here at Islands of Adventures, uh, basically just because it was raining just recently and just to get out the outdoor stuff here before you go over to studios for the soft opening, which will be very interesting to say the least. Yeah, we're gonna start off for at Islands of Adventures over here first. And uh, she'll be very interesting to stay at least haven't been here in quite some time So it is very great to be back here, of course. So let's get inside the park All right, as you can see we have made it in and Possibly gonna head over to the right side over here to do Hagrid's basically just because of my last look it was actually a delay So hopefully it's open. I don't know really what to say about that area over there, but as we we're passing by the Hulk uh, hopefully Hagrid's is actually open, but if not, I guess we can just go over, head over to uh, Velocicoaster and Forbidden Journey, which is possibly the best choices right there anyways, but anyway, let's see as we're passing through Seuss Landing over here, I make our way over to Hagrid's just to see, and as you know before, Science Fury has closed down, even though we missed the uh, closing for it, which, you know, kind of sucks, but, you know, I couldn't make it there, but it is what it is, but anyways, we're going to head over there to Hagrid's, hopefully, and uh, just see, uh, just make it off from right over here, as you can see, but yeah, it's great to be back here, of course, but anyways. All right, so one thing I want to mention real quick as we are making our way through here, through the Lost Continent, uh, they actually added the waterfall back with uh, with the guy from Mythos, as you see the waterfall coming out of his mouth right there, which I guess they added that back, but it's pretty good. Um, anyways, as you can see, as we make our way over here, but uh, yeah, as you can see, Poseidon's Fury is permanent, permanently closed. As you can see right here, it's all walled off and everything. You can't, you can't go into the attraction entrance right over here, but you know, it, yeah, they even took out the thing and everything. So uh, yeah, you can't go over there anymore. It's closed. Which, I, which kind of, you know, it's there, but you guys see the rope is blocking it and everything, but I guess we're gonna head over to Hagrid's, uh, possibly the first uh, ride of the day. We did do a little bit of a pit stop at Cat in the Hat right there, but uh, anyways, on to uh, Hagrid's. So as you see, as we make our way over here, it uh, looks like there's actually not even an extended queue for Hagrid's, which is actually very interesting. So maybe it's not even that bad of a wait at all, so. We're gonna head over here to see how long it is, but yeah, there's not even an extended queue. That's actually very interesting to say the least, but maybe we can get looking at Hagrid's. It looks like people are over there in the locker, so maybe we can, hopefully, but we shall see here. But Hagrid's is currently a 150 minute wait. I mean, that's not that bad, but let's hop on. All right, next stop is gonna be for Ben Jerry. Just got off Hagrid's not too long ago and ran pretty good. So we're gonna get our stuff in the locker here again and uh, hop on Forbidden Journey. So uh, let's hop on right now. All right, so we just did uh, Forbidden Journey just a couple minutes ago and uh, yeah, it was pretty good, pretty average right there. And uh, when I came out of the thing, it looks like there's actually clouds over there for uh, for some rain, but hopefully that's not the case. But anyways, we did Forbidden Journey. Uh, we're gonna head on to our next thing, maybe hopefully a water ride because it is kind of hot out here. So we'll see what happens next, but uh, we shall see. All right, so this is interesting. There's not a wait time on the Velocicoaster sign, so maybe I did hear a running, so I don't know if it's open or not, but that is very interesting to say the least if it actually is open, but we will go over there and see for ourselves in just a couple of minutes if it's open, but I mean, it is almost five o'clock. Uh, Studios does close at eight if they wanted to showcase the Minion Land, but we shall see what happens. But as we make our way over here, as of this moment, just a couple of minutes. Yeah, Blossom Coaster is running, so that was very strange that the wait time was not posted on the sign there, but we shall see. Yeah, 
I might have to say we might have to skip on Velocicoaster today because that looks like a long line right there. Yeah, I'll just skip that for today. A little bit too long, but I don't know if you could see it, but they had Express, but yeah, that's probably the right we're gonna probably skip today because that's a little bit too long there. There's so uh, yeah, we're gonna skip that today because that's a little bit too long. But oh well, I guess on to River Adventure. All right, so one thing I for forgot to mention: there actually is Jurassic Park's 30th anniversary, which is actually a tribute store over at Studios, which we will go over there pretty soon just to check that out, but. Right now, um, we're gonna go see how long Jurassic Park River Adventure is. If that's long, we're probably gonna go to the Spider-Man Hulk and then uh, head over to studios over here. But anyways, on to see how long uh, River Adventure is. All right, so we just did Jurassic Park River Adventure and uh, yeah, I got barely soaked. I didn't get soaked at all, so I was, I mean, I guess it, they turn off the water once in a while, but as you see, it's jam-packed over here, so oh boy. So something interesting I want to point out, they actually took out the Popeye statue for some weird reason over there, but we are actually going to check out the past member lounge for the Betty Boop area, which is right over here, so you'll see in a minute. Uh, I think it's around here. I mean, yeah, it's right over here, so we're going to showcase this right over here. Well, I don't even think it's actually even open. So, anyways, I guess we will see. All right, so we're gonna go see how long Spider-Man Hulk is. If like Spider-Man is long, probably just gonna go do the Hulk and then go over to studios because they actually closed in about two hours. Because we do need to go over there just to showcase the Minion Land and stuff like that. So, uh, anyways, they actually added the statue for uh, for over there by Spider-Man. I don't know if you can see, but I didn't really do a good job showcasing that. But uh, we're gonna go over here. Hopefully, we're gonna see if we can get on these two rides and just take, take it off from there. All right, so I believe Spider-Man is actually only like a 25 minute wait. It's only 25 minutes. So uh, I guess we're gonna hop on this and uh, let's hop on Spider-Man. All right, so we just did uh, Spider-Man and uh, just got off that. Uh, if the Hulk is long, we will head over to studios, but I'm not too sure entirely what we're gonna do now, but uh, if the Hulk is long, we're gonna head over to studios and uh, We'll see how long the Hulk is from here, so, uh... Alright, so we're gonna see, it looks like we're gonna do the single rider line, so... I mean, it doesn't look too terrible, so... Let's go ahead on the Hulk. Uh, it looks as a 45 minute wait, or does that, yeah, I think around there, but, uh... Yeah, we're gonna do a single rider line, so, uh, let's hop on this one. Alright, so the single rider actually was not open, and it was a 45 minute wait, so, uh... Yeah, we're just going to skip on this one, head over to Studios, the time exact right now it is 5.52, so we're going to over, head over to Studios, we have two hours over there to showcase what we need, so uh, let's head over there right now. Alright, we have made it over to Studios, and uh, let's get inside here and showcase them a couple of, a couple of stuff that's inside here. Alright, so it looks like there is not a huge line to get in, so it should not be that bad at all, so... As you can see, we're going to get inside here just to showcase this land off. Uh, we, we will hopefully try to show the tribute store for for one too. So let's head over there right now. All right. So before we check out the menu, land, we're going to go over here to the tribute store for Jurassic Park before we head over there. So uh, it shall be very interesting to see at least what's inside here. So uh, let's go check it out right now. All right. Here it is, the new Jurassic Park uh, tribute store, which is right over here. So. Uh, Let's go inside here and uh, see for ourselves. So as you can see, this is what's inside. And as you see all this over here. And with a huge, everything right over here and uh, pretty cool. And um, some shirts right over here. This is a, this is actually pretty pretty cool over here as well. Yeah, it is. That's really great. Yeah. So as you can see, there's actually a huge reference right here from the movie as well. And this is actually very cool. There's a huge area right here for uh, this right here as well. 
This is very interesting to see the beast over here. Alright. What are we doing? Yeah, come on, Bill. Let's see, there's all this stuff right over here. And uh, here's a huge thing over here for photo opportunities right over here. This is really. Just pretty interesting to say the least. See, there's some stuff right over here as well, and uh, there's more stuff over here for you know merchandise and stuff. So, yeah, this is very interesting to say the least. So, yeah, very cool that they uh, did this over here as well. So, they have stuff over there, a huge, which I think. Yeah, it's pretty interesting to see loose over some stuff over there. And a huge structure of this right over here, which is a huge model of the Jurassic Park, which I can see, which is right here, which is very interesting right over here. That's very interesting to see we stand up. Uh, yeah, pretty interesting altogether for this area. So as you can see with all the stuff over here, as you can see. So yeah, pretty interesting to see at least for that tribute store. And, um, yeah, very interesting to say the least over here. Uh, one thing I do found, find it, oh yeah, and there's something over there as well for a, uh, like a tris, Triceratops for some reason, which is just laying there, which that one scene from that movie, which is right over there as well. But a uh, very interesting to say the least, and, uh, yeah, that was pretty, that, I mean, it was pretty, you know, average tribute store for, for one, it was pretty cool, but, uh, very, very interesting to say the least right over here, so, uh, now let's go over to the minion land and showcase what's over there so one thing else i want to mention that we were in the tribute store that place was jam-packed over there for a lot of pictures been being taken over there but we did the best we could to get our uh, footage that we needed for the tribute store but now let's head over to minion land to showcase that area off right now all right as you can see the new minion land has been here as you can see with the huge sign up and everything right over here as you can see they do some a little bit of I think a paint job for mini may, uh, mini mayhem to speak with me, but uh, here's what the area is right over here as you can see with yeah villain con has not opened yet, but hopefully soon around this will open soon, but should be should be any time now when this opens up. But as you can see, there's a, a lot of stuff over here which uh, we'll show you up there in a minute when we go over to, to that one area for uh, mini land, which is right up right up here. And just to showcase over here they have stuff posters up and everything up over here as well as you can see which uh they have put up all of this stuff up here as you can see with the vicious six up here and, I, and everything up here from the movies and stuff but uh, very interesting to say the least and as you can see over here uh, that uh, scalpel thing that we've been seeing recently with our uh, recent trips as you can see there is a huge venue on top of the cupcake which is that has opened up and everything over here as well so very interesting to say the least which uh we will show you over here but uh very very interesting to say at least that they did this over here which is very interesting with all the shops that are located over here as well and then they, of course the new minion cafe which is over here we might try it i'm not too sure but uh we shall see in a minute if we do try it out but a lot of um, good stuff that's over here as you can see but uh very interesting to say the least but uh as you see the new area right here which is minion cafe which is not open yet well it actually is open excuse me there but uh, i don't know we might see what they have over here just to see for ourselves but uh very interesting to see at least all the stuff that's over here but uh anyways we'll see what in a couple of minutes so this is a menu right here as you see with all this stuff that you see on the list which is all over here as you can see which is very interesting to say the least over here but uh a lot of good stuff over here as you can see and uh, pretty much the menu which is right over here as you can see right here so uh, very very interesting to say the least but uh we'll see if we might eat here i'm not too sure but uh we shall see what happens all right so we just did the mini cafe the food was actually surprisingly pretty good there and uh there's actually a popcorn and everything i think that's actually uh saw popcorn yeah, for some reason but uh I don't know, I think it was about flavored banana popcorn, I'm not too sure, but uh, 
Yeah, the food was actually pretty good there, but as you see, race through New York, staring Jimmy Fallon's five minute wait. I wonder why that's a five minute wait, but yeah, that that's very understandable why. But uh, we're gonna head over to Mummy uh, to get our ride on there, but uh, we will make it over there. So let's head over there for our first ride over there for uh, Studios. And uh, one thing I just want to mention, I only have, there's only like one hour left here in the park. It is seven o'clock. The park closes at eight, and uh, we're gonna start off over here with. I guess Mummy since it's right here and it was actually a 25 minute wait on the app so uh, let's hop on Mummy uh, this one's always a good ride to go on so uh, let's hop on uh, Mummy right now so uh, let's hop on alright so we just did Mummy not that long ago and it was actually pretty good and uh, pretty good uh, effects were working pretty good except for that one part in the beginning but uh, I guess that's just what it is but I guess we're gonna head over to Men in Black. So uh, we're gonna go over there right now. Uh, could possibly be the rest right of the day since the park is near to closing. So we're gonna head over to Men in Black Alien Attack. Hopefully we can get up the bonus. I am hoping, but we shall see. So let's head head over there right now. So as you see, Fast and Furious Supercharged is right over there. But I guess we can just skip on that for today because uh, yeah, we're gonna go to Men in Black. Uh, possibly could be the last ride of the day. So. Uh, Anyways, uh, don't know exactly how long Fast and Furious Supercharged is, but, uh, anyways, just gonna skip on that for today, but, uh, anyways, yeah, it's 25 minutes. I mean, that's not too terrible, but, well, I guess the last ride of the day is gonna be Men in Black Alien Attack. Just to let you know, there's actually a new, uh, I think the entrance for The Simpsons is back over there, but, uh, last ride, Men in Black Alien Attack, so, uh, let's hop on this, and it should be very interesting to say the least. All right, so we just sitting in black, and uh, yeah, the points were about the same as last time. But uh, anyways, it's about part closing. It's about we're about ready to leave, and the time exact is actually eight o'clock. So uh, we're gonna be out of here, and it's actually eight one to be exact. So uh, the park that's closed, uh, we would go over to Islands, but that park is probably already crowded, so over there. But uh, I guess we are ready to leave, and that's uh, gonna be pretty much doing here. So they actually brought back the original uh, entrance for the Simpsons ride right over here, which is pretty good. Because you know they've been, they, there was a lot of renovation over here, but now it's over here on this side over here. But they actually entered through here, which is pretty good. But of course, it is closed, even though it's supposed to have a 15 minute wait because the park has closed. So we're gonna get out of here anyways. But there is a little bit of an update. All right. Well, I guess uh, this is the last look of the Minion Land before we come here. Uh, next time so uh, there it is right over here so uh, very interesting that we were able to get we were able to experience that today and it looks like actually a rainstorm doesn't kick on in soon so uh, yeah, that's pretty much it here so uh, anyways that's going to be pretty much here for the universal vlog all right so i guess i'll be doing here at universal all together here it is actually starting to rain so we're going to get out of here as you can see but uh yeah, good day overall, as you can see, yeah, it is starting to rain. So, as you can see with all this going around here, yeah, as you can see. But I'll be doing here at Coasters of the Thrills. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe. Uh, hit that bell notification for, for any other future uploads that will be coming out soon. But until then, this is Coasters of the Thrills. And until uh, then, I'm out.